Well guys, today's the day. I've got all the uh, pump shut down, the filter shut down, the RDS drained down. I'm keeping water in my bio beds and uh, just keep them going. So I can't hang about too much. And we're going to see if we can get this pre-pump filter installed. Get all that pipe work changed, get it all uh, solvent welded in and keep our fingers crossed, hey? Now this is the pipe work I've taken out. As you can see, the water used to come in here. There's two 90 bends there. Across the bottom, another 90 bend up there. Another 90 bend there. And either into the filter or back to the pump. With another 90 bend and another 90 bend. Absolutely crazy. I'm not quite sure what I was doing when I thought that up. I know a lot of the problem was I fixed all the pipe into the filter first which wasn't a good idea so anyway i've cut all that out taken it out and we'll get the new piping in well hi guys it's all in and plumbed in and we were in bypass mode and we're now in pre-pump filter mode it's up and it's running it's been running about two hours now as you can see at the back there, I hope you can see the non-return valves wide open. We're getting a good flow through that into the top of the filter and out the bottom again. Don't know whether you'll be able to see the pump, but the pump basket is totally clean. Nothing in there after two hours. So we're looking good at the moment. Great stuff. So I will keep you guys posted on how it goes. Like I say, it's been running about two hours now. It's just a matter of uh, a good old trial for it now. Giving it a good run and see how things hold up. Well, good morning everybody. And what a lovely sunny day we've got here again today. It's beautiful. A little bit of breeze, but uh, not too bad at all. Really cold nights. My pond did actually get down to 13 degrees. So uh, I've had to order some wheat germ fish food so that uh, just in case because if the temperature drops i like to feed them wheat germ because they can digest that a lot better than the normal food so i have ordered some it's on the way um, what i want to get done today is i want to get the top of the rim on the pre-pump filter i want to get a coat of paint on that it is rusting the condensation i didn't think there'd get, be any water get right up there but I didn't think about condensation on the lid and it's running down the lid and onto the rim that went round the outside which I left so that we got a good seal it is turning it a little bit red so I'm going to rub that down and get a coat of paint on that today I also, once that's on I want to get the hoover out and start thinking about getting a bit of uh, winter preparation done to the pond so I'm going to give the pond a good hoover in as well I want to get that done today before the weather comes bad really, the weather's going to come really bad they're telling us. So uh, I want to get that done today, I've got to get my pond covers out. I'm not going to uh, fit them yet, but I want to get them out and make sure they're all ready to be put on. So that's another little job. I want to get the bottom drain clean out at some point. Well that's quite difficult with the lilies where they are. That's the problem. So I'll probably wait a little bit until they die back a little bit more so that I can see the bottom drain and get the lid off. But today's project is getting the pre-filter rim painted and hoovering the pond out. Well guys, the pre-filter or pre-pump filter has been running really well. I'm well pleased with it. The problem I've got is initially I did leave this edge because I didn't want to interfere with the seal on the lid. I thought all the water would be down the bottom. I didn't think we'd get any water up here. Now the problem is when you take the lid off, the condensation on it runs into the seal and I'm afraid when you put it back on the seal wets it up and as you can see here we're getting slight traces of red rust so what I'm going to do is rub this down and give it a coat of paint just to make sure that we don't get any more of that red rust I was, wasn't thinking about condensation I just thought if we can keep the water away from that we won't interfere with the seal and not paint it but unfortunately I can't do that so I'm going to rub that down and get a coat of uh, the pond paint around that rim there. 
and there you go guys that's that all done the problem is now because that is clamped down so tight I've really got to let that dry which means my pre-pump filter is now out of action for about a week I want to give that about seven days so it's really dried out well so that's put that out of action for a while so we're back on the pump again going straight into the pump instead of going through the filter so there you go these are things that uh, are sent to tryers well guys as you can see I've got it all set up but the sun's gone in and an awful lot of cloud appeared so I'm not quite sure how much I'll get done it looks like rain at the moment if it does decide to rain I'm gonna to have to uh, whip my pond back inside a bit quick but uh, I'll get as much done as I can and just hope it doesn't rain okay guys that's a full pond hoovering so as you can see there's no hair or string algae in among that it's just normal pond dirt so that's good I can't see any hair or string algae in the pond at all I've got none and I haven't trekked my pond for quite some time now two three months maybe I think since I did the last one so that's good news I think that's down to me adding the Baki River and these plants that's burning up the nutrients I don't want quite so many of these big ones next year I shall take them out that iris is getting way too big in one year it's bursting out the box so I think that'll have to go I'm gonna go more for the low stuff like this here I think that looks quite nice around the edge of a pond that one there that came online that far end one I don't like that at all that's never looked anything all year so I'm gonna I shall get rid of that as well and like I say go on to more of this stuff because it's quite pretty around the edge of the pond to be quite honest so I shall uh, take that out cut it down and put that in some more of the boxes it'll grow again just split it up and put it in the boxes this grass is quite pretty but it grows too tall it is growing really tall as high as the iris and it's still growing so it's it's all right but it shuts down your vision of your pond all the time so they're all going to get a good uh, trimming and sorting out anyway but ready for the winter most of them well all of them will come out and be put in i'm going to put them in the holding tank to winter out in there because i have my pond covers on there's not a lot of point in leaving them in there so they'll all go in the holding tank for the winter the lilies as you can see they're dying off i'm going to uh, cut them back as much as i can because like i say i want to get the bottom drain done i want to get that uh, clean out so they'll all get uh, cut back as much as i can now because it's getting pond cover time the pond temperature is dropping we've got back to 15 but with the cold nights it did actually get down to 13 so uh, we're back to 15 at the moment well that's got me pond cleaned out I've got it hoovered I've taken off taken off all the dead lilies dead and dying leaves have gone as you can see <laughs> they're all here so we got quite a few out but that's all the dead and dying stuff out so uh, a bit of a clear up now I think after that but it's looking a lot better in there with all them dead leaves gone it's cutting back a bit I'm leaving as many as I can because they enjoy the cover but uh, that's them gone anyway another little job down ready for winter the thing is if you don't trim all these lily leaves off and get them out they'll only end up on the bottom of your pond being a right nuisance so it does pay you to get them off and get them out of the pond they'll only end up in your pump and all sorts of things okay now the new piping as you can see there it comes in here because across the bottom we've got a uh, swept T there so it can either go into the filter or it can go round with 190 straight to the pump and this side of we've got a swept T in there where it comes up and into the filter which is a lot simpler than what we had in the first place I must have had a senior moment when I was fitting that I'm not quite sure what happened there but uh, that's really improved it it's a lot better now I'm not sure if you can see the pump down there since I've taken the filter off it's getting full of rubbish already it's soon going to start blocking up so I shall have to clean it out shortly so I really can't wait to get this filter back in action having it out of action I'm gonna I'm really missing it it went really well for that day 
and there was not an ounce of dirt in the uh, pump at all. So the sooner I get that back up and running the better. So what I'm actually doing is I've brought it into the shed because I want to salvage obviously I want to get them taps off it there's a slide valve there I want off it there's several bits I want off that some good bits of pipe on it so I want to salvage all that lot before I uh, throw the rest away so I've got it in the shed and I'll get all them off there as you know none of that stuff's cheap the plant's still doing well the cold nights, we've got down to like 1 and 2 degrees some nights, has killed all the greenery off in it. It's not so green as it was, but it's still throwing up flowers. It's a remarkable thing this is. And as the uh, season's gone on, the other side is now starting to flower and come out over this side. That is starting to look a lot better now than it was in the summer. So it probably likes the cold weather, I don't know. But this thing's been remarkable, absolutely remarkable. The flowers that that's chucked out is incredible. But like I say, just the greenery's dying off at the minute, which I suppose you expect at this time of year. Well, I don't know about you guys, but summer didn't seem to last very long. Not to me it didn't. It was lovely while we had it, but it just didn't seem to last long. Winter's here already. Now I'm longing for next summer. <laughs> But there you go, too much of a good thing I suppose. Anyway guys, I would just like to say thanks for watching, take care, and as always, happy ponding.